I'm going to show you a little bit more under selection, finish off that tab. So let's grab a photo and let's grab old image. And if you remember under edit, there was transform tool. Well, under select, there's a similar tool, but you're only transforming, as I mentioned, the selection and not the image itself. So let's grab the elliptical marquee tool, grab this guy's head, like so. And now under select, transform selection. Now this box comes up, which if you remember, like I said, it was under here, transform also. But the edit, you're transforming the actual image. This transform is just transforming the selection. So it works the same way. You grab your anchor points, you move it whichever way you want, like so. Then once you have it how you want, hit enter. So you're basically transforming your selection. Works the same way. Whoops. All right. Now, let's say we wanted to keep, we got it put a lot of work in selecting something, exactly what we wanted. We can then save that selection here, call it whatever we want, um, head selection. And then, let's say we deselected, did some other work, and then later, we wanted to bring that selection back. You go load selection, head selection under channel. And it brings exactly what we selected up before. We're very useful if you're doing a lot of different things and you want to come back to um, you know, a certain selection that you'd put a lot of work into um, getting it perfect. So that's under select, load selection, save selection. So those are the main ones you're going to use under select.